they come as one unit so we're gonna change both of them and they have BMW E60 today all right guys so first up we're gonna remove the the back seat so you just hold the edge of the tab like, and just pull it up both sides all right just like that and it's out just put this aside all right so remove the carpet So we have one here, this side, I think, this side, let me check. One side has the filter and one side has the pump assembly. The pump assembly is on this side. So, but we have some 10 millimeter not, not holding down the cover. So we're gonna just remove those. This connector, we will slide it backwards. Let's see, just slide it backwards, and it comes off just like that. Let me just move this entirely out the way. Sorry, we have more space to work with. All right, this is the uh, the lock. The shine metal piece so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna use my hammer and chisel and just tap it around to get it move and see if it if it's too tight probably we have to use some agent to free it up so let us try and as you can see it, it, it start to move already so we can just gently tap it all around yeah. so we are having movement and that is good so. basically now we have to go on that side and repeat the process over on that side so we can remove the hose that run from this side onto that side let me just grab the new one and show you exactly what i'm talking all right basically this is the new one right so this will be fit in here and then this hose here would run from this side of the tank over onto that side because the mechanism would appear to as if it has two tanks but it's one tank but because of the driving shaft assembly running along the center of the vehicle here the the tank has a hump over over it so this is what takes a few from the right side of the vehicle to the left side of the vehicle so we're gonna remove that side so we can um release all these clips and the electrical side of it over there and then we can remove it so we're just gonna remove these 10 volts Here we have the this is a the hose that leads up to the injector rail in the bonnet 
so we're gonna remove this first um, I would advise that you get some something to absorb the fuel because there will be um, fuel coming back down the line because basically it stores fuel in it in the line so or I don't know but I, I I'm just gonna just pull it without putting anything there All right, here we go. All right, and basically you can hear that fuel pressure release. All right, we're gonna use this chisel here again and just tap it around. Let me just put this. just like that all right so this is the side of the filter all right so just take our time take this out all right so we have a few connectors here this one just squeeze on it pull it off and then this one it has the clips on the side and both sides so we're going on that and then there is one on this side on the back of it here so we'd have to just get something and just pry it down or if you can just just squeeze it from the top right here there's a there's a little knob here you just push it down and slide it back at the same time Just like that and then you have the main charge line that's this one so you're gonna just squeeze it this one is a bit hard to squeeze might have to use a pliers to squeeze this one oh and it's off all right so this is the filter assembly off now so something that we call a tape wire I'm gonna show you how we use that in a second let me just remove this all right guys so this is the tape wire right so we're gonna insert the tape wire from one end of the tank and we're just gonna just maneuver it to the opposite side from one end to the other and this is what we're gonna use to take this end from over here to over there so here the other end is out on this side so let us just secure it there some tape around it to secure it so when we're pulling it across it doesn't get loose 
and give us trouble so so we're gonna just use some tape like that all right and then basically so we ensure our seal is still intact nothing is wrong with this seal so no need to change that so no insert that we're gonna pull it from the other end so we're just gonna do it gently no need to to rush it and get it detangled so you ensure that your fuel level sensor don't get caught in anything because that will give you an incorrect fuel reading and see this side is already in and yes just like that and we're just gonna just put the cover Alright, here we go. Alright, so we're not gonna secure that tightly as yet. We are gonna go on the other side now and put in the filter. Alright, so we have this coming across, so we're going to remove the tape. So we have the tape removed now, so we have our connectors here, here, so remove these covers. This electrical connector is for the fuel level sensor on the other side of the tank. So we're going to click that in along with the, this one here for the fuel level. And then we're going to insert this. ensure that your seal is still intact and they are not damaged the, these seals are fine so hold it down. it has a little bit of spring tension on 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 it both, both of them especially on the fuel side so you might have to just give it a little squeeze for it to catch quickly so that you can secure back the lock around it all right so all right so we're gonna just give it a little bit of tap to ensure that it's properly secure basically so we're gonna just give the other side a bit of tap also to ensure to finish tightening up that side power connector for the fuel pump and then the cover as an arrow pointing upwards indicating the front
when I do this, normally to avoid the um, a, a code to come up on the computer indicating the excessive crank not start. What I do, I I use the key to charge the fuel line. Basically, what I do, I close the door, wait like a couple seconds, and then soon as you open the door, it will charge the fuel line. So I use that method. So this is the key fob. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lock it, wait a couple seconds, then I unlock it. Then basically, I'm not sure if the camera pick it up, but I can hear the fuel line charging already. So we can go ahead and try and start it. 